Good morning or good afternoon. My name is William White. I am the Field Marketing Specialist for Arctic Style and Stone. I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for joining us for today's Learn From Home webinar. In an effort to stay connected during these times of social distancing, we will host Arctic Style and Stone webinars every other Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. In two weeks, we will feature a brand new course focusing on Ardex Flexbone uncoupling systems. In today's presentation, we will be covering Ardex high performance grouts for tile and stone installations. I will turn it over to our presenter, technical manager of Ardex tile and stone installation systems, Mr. Mark Penine. Mark has been with Ardex for over a decade and is active in many industry committees, including ANSI 108, Standards Committee, NTCA Technical Committees, MMSA, and ICRI Substrate Committees. Mark is also a certified tile and flooring inspector. We will be holding a question and answer portion at the end of the presentation. Please feel free to submit your questions in real time in the chat function. Mark, take it away. Okay, thanks William. Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Tile Tuesday Grouts. As we say in the tile business, grouts are 5% of the cost, but can be 95% of the problem. Today, we're going to look at four Ardex grouts that when used correctly will help eliminate those problems. But the first objective is to use the right tools. Make sure you have good, clean floats with sharp edges. Always read the mix water ratio on the back of the box or bag. For Ardex grouts, we recommend a high speed drill to mix our grouts. Always use cold, clean water. And be sure to always manage your working area. Be careful not to grout more area before beginning to wash than you can manage. When cleaning your grout, always use clean water. Don't overwater the surface. Wring out your sponge really well. Change your water frequently and understand the setting times of the product you're using before you start cleaning. Always, you, always do a final cleaning to remove any residual haze on the surface of the tile. Ardex grass are formulated with the installer in mind. They're very creamy and they have a smooth consistency, making them easy to apply. They have a very fine spherical sand and the sanded grass can often replace unsanded grouts. They fill the joints with less effort. They provide a fuller and stronger joint. They're very easy to clean and like all of our tile products, there's no slaking required. The Ardex Grot lineup consists of Ardex WA, a 100% solids epoxy grout and adhesive, Ardex FL, our rapid set flexible sanded grout, Ardex FH, which is a standard set sanded floor and wall grout, and the Ardex FGC Microtech, which is our unsanded floor and wall grout. As you can see, we have brand new packaging to represent our full line of Ardex grouts as well. Ardex FL is a rapid set flexible sanded grout. It has a very unique consistency. As you can see in the picture, it's very fluid. It's very easy to apply for the installer. It has excellent color consistency, stain resistance, and water repellency. It is a rapid setting grout, so you can traffic it in as early as 90 minutes. It fills the joints from the bottom up. 
you're going to get a four flusher joint when you use the Ardex FL. The FL is available in all 36 Ardex colors in both 25 and 10 pound units. Ardex FL does not require a sealer. You can seal it if you need to, or if you want to just take an extra precaution. There's no slate time required, as I said earlier. It's a very strong, dense grout. It's resistant to mold and mildew. It can be used outside, so it's, it's freeze and thaw resistant. It can be used for both floors and walls. Let's take a look at the Artex FL as it's installed. We're going to demonstrate the application and the cleaning process of Artex FL rapid set sanded cement based grout. Before you mix the FL, you have to realize that it is a rapid set. So you have two options in your mixing. You can either mix it according to the water ratio on the bag, which is two and a quarter quarts to two and a half quarts. Or for smaller portions, you can mix four parts by one to volume. One thing you'll notice about the Ardex FL is the consistency. The consistency is a nice, wet, creamy, smooth product. It pours out of the bucket but makes it very easy to apply. The consistency of the product actually allows the product to fill from the bottom up. As you can see the convex joint. When using the Artex FL on a wall application, always mix to the low water ratio, which is two and a quarter quarts for the bag. The product, even though that it has a nice wet consistency, when applied to the wall, it will stay on the wall where you place it. You'll just smooth it out just like you did a floor application, filling your joints and removing your excess. And then again, wait approximately 30 minutes before, start your, before you start washing. Once you have the FL spread into the joints and across the towel, now you want to remove the excess by going on a 45 degree angle. Now the most important part of FL is you need to let it sit up between 30 and 45 minutes until your joints have become stiff to touch and then you can start washing you do not need to start washing immediately because you don't have to wash right away you can actually install the fl in a larger area getting more square footage covered and then you go back and clean the whole floor after 30 or 45 minutes depending upon heat and humidity in the room you want to check your joints these joints are firm so that means they're ready to be washed the thing is, when you're using a cement-based grout, you always want to be careful to wring out your sponge very well. You want to use a damp sponge. And basically what you want to do is you want to get the area wet. The water is going to start working for you and break down the grout residue that's on the surface of the tile. Then you can start shaping your grout joints. To make your cleaning of the Ardex FL grout much easier, we always recommend using an Ardex sponge. This unique square sponge allows you to get the grout haze cleaned off on one pass. It also allows you to use, use the corners and the edges when you're installing tile to keep, keep your joints clean. So again, always pick up an Ardex sponge. Then once you have all your heavy residue on, then you're ready to wring out your sponge. 
and pull your sponge on a 45 degree angle. Now the FL is going to dry very quickly. It's going to be trafficable in 90 minutes. It is recommended to do a second cleaning after about 90 minutes just to make sure all the haze is off the finish of the tile. A couple notable projects where the FL was used is the Nemecolin Woodlands Resort as well as the Audi dealership in Montreal, Quebec. For epoxy, Artex WA is our 100% solids epoxy grout and adhesive. It's so easy to use and clean, you wouldn't even believe it's an epoxy. Uh, it's very creamy and smooth, very easy to place. Again, it can be used as an adhesive as well to install tile on very difficult substrates like metal or other epoxy coatings. When grouting, WA can be grouted from a 16th inch joint all the way up to a half inch joint wide. It's only two components, it's easy to mix, and it all comes in a box with the two uh, components together. No additives needed to use with washing. It's very easy to clean with just water. Um, you can use a white scotch bright pad and an Ardex sponge in your wash process. It's great for demanding areas where maximum chemical resistance is needed, like in commercial kitchens, food processing, processing and industrial institutional plants, medical and commercial facilities. It's also ideal for swimming pools, hot tubs, and wet areas. We recommend the WA Brilliant White for installing glass towel in swimming pools as well as in shower installations. Let's take a closer look at Artex WA. Artex WA 100% solids epoxy is a nine pound unit. It's two components. The bottom has the resin. And the lid has the pigment or the color that you chose and the hardener. Very easy. You just scoop the lid into the pail. Now, epoxies, they are ratioed by weight. So you want to make sure that you get all of the top portion into the bottom portion. Once you have the top portion into the bottom portion, now you're ready to mix. It's very easy to use a mini T2 mixer with a battery power drill. You want to continue mixing until you get a very consistent color. Now you're ready to apply the WA epoxy. Again, epoxy is a, uh, takes a chemical reaction. So as soon as you've made that mixing, a, time, a timer is going off and this product is going to eventually get hot and then hard. So you want to get it out of the pail. And we recommend putting small daubs onto the surface. This will allow you a longer working time. You want to make sure you have a quality epoxy grout float, which has a very hard and sharp edge to apply the material 
over the tile surface and into the joints. The WA is very creamy and smooth to work with. Unlike a lot of other epoxies, there's no reason to be scared to install Artex WA. Once you're done filling your joints in the area that you're working, now you want to remove the excess, holding the float at a 45 degree angle. Now you're going to let the epoxy set up for 15 minutes to 45 minutes, depending upon the size of the room. Also, you have to take in consideration the air temperature in the room as well. If it's cooler, you can allow it to sit longer, up to 45 minutes. If it's warmer, you want to get on it in 15 minutes. Traditional epoxies, you would need to start washing immediately because they're very difficult to get off the towel surface. And as an installer, you're really worried about affecting that towel finish with, with epoxy because epoxy is almost impossible to get off once it's hardened. But with the Artex WA, you can actually let it sit and have a peace of mind knowing that when you come back in 15 to 45 minutes, you're going to clean it right off with cold water. Now we're ready to wash the WA 100% solids epoxy grout off the surface of the towel and toll the joints. The very first thing that we recommend is taking a spray bottle of just clear water and spraying the surface. You're going to let this water just sit on the surface for about two minutes before you start your cleaning process. After two minutes, then you want to take a white scotch bright pad that is very damp. Don't be afraid to use water with an epoxy. Then you're going to break down the surface with the scotch bright pad in a circular motion. Once you have all the heavy residue off the tile, now you're ready to take your sponge and pull your joints. Now you're ready to remove the excess haze or slurry from the finish. Again, on a 45 degree angle, flip your sponge. It's that easy. When you're doing this final wash, just make sure your sponge is damp. It doesn't have to be overly wet like it was when we first started. so easy to apply and clean, you won't even believe it's an epoxy. Just make sure your joints are all smooth and finished properly before allowing it to set up. Now we're going to let the WA set up. And we always recommend doing a second wash right before you're ready to leave for the day, approximately two hours later. Art. The Moose, the Moose Lodge in Banff, Alberta, as well as the U.S. Bank Corp Office Tower in Portland are two projects that were done with the Artex WA. Artex also has a standard set cement-based sand and floor and wall grout. It's called Artex FH. It's an outstanding everyday grout for everyday towel installations. 
You can use it on porcelain, glass, ceramic, and quarry tile. You can install from a 16th inch joint all the way up to three quarters of an inch. It's great for pointing stone veneer applications because of the three quarter inch wide um, availability of the product. Again, it's very easy to apply as well as clean. It's available in all Artex colors in a 25 pound bag. Unsanded grouts are not needed as much today as they used to be in the past. But if you're installing a towel that may be sensitive to scratches or a, a, a marble with a very tight joint, Artex offers the Artex FGC Microtech Unsanded Floor and Wall Grout. It has a very smooth and easy to use finish. It has excellent color consistency. Floor and wall joints can be grotted up to a quarter of an inch wide. It's open to traffic in four hours. It's an interior as well as an exterior grout. It's perfect for your backsplashes and shower wall applications. It's available in all Artex colors in both 25 and 10 pounds. Artex offers a couple different finish materials for finishing your corners and your change of plane, as well as your expansion joints if needed. The first product is the Artex SX 100% silicone sealant. It's quick curing with no sag or slump. It's non-staining. It has a, a outstanding adhesion and it stays perma permanently flexible. It's UV resistant, mold and mildew resistant as well. It's very easy to toll and smooth. It can be used in both interior as well as exterior installations. It has a sure A hardness rating for commercial applications and uh, commercial um, you can use it in commercial expansion joints and high traffic areas. It can also be used in swimming pools and other wet areas. It comes in all 36 matching Artex grot colors. Artex SX 100% silicone comes in a tube just like this. The top is already on it. You're going to remove the top. It's sealed on this side. You're just going to take a knife and you're going to cut the top off. As easy as that. Then you're going to reapply the nozzle. Remove the tip. Slightly cut the tip of the nozzle on an angle and then put it into your caulking gun. Now you're ready to install your SX silicone. Now because SX is 100% silicone, you cannot clean it with water. So a good trick is to take some water with some dishwashing soap. We use Dawn liquid and soap and a small paintbrush. And you want to apply it over the silicone and onto the tile, both the bottom and the top edges.
get yourself one of these nice silicone or caulking um, application applicators. And you get a clean job every time. The SX silicone is very flexible. You always want to use a silicone like SX in all your change of planes, your corners, and anywhere two dissimilar surfaces come together. That's where the movement occurs, and you need a very flexible joint. Artex also offers a siliconized acrylic caulk called Artex Flex Caulk. It is stain resistant, mold and mildew resistant as well. It's very flexible. It can be installed up to a half inch wide joint for both interior and exterior installations. It's available in 36 Artex colors as well in both sanded as well as unsanded finishes. To give your cement-based grass a fresh look, Artex offers Artex GCS Grot Colorant Sealer. It's excellent stain-resistant product, can receive light traffic in two to four hours, can be used both interior as well as exterior. It's tack free in 30 minutes. It's ideal for showers and other intermittent wet areas. It's very easy to apply by using a paintbrush or a toothbrush. And last but not least, the legendary Ardex sponge. It's the world's greatest sponge. Use it for cleaning off excess grot, haze, and residue. It has superior absorption. It's a six-sided rectangular sponge. It fits into corners perfectly. It's great for removing towel mortar between your joints as you're installing your towel. It lasts up to four times longer than the average sponge. It's kid and pet approved. Artex is excited to announce the launch of our new color palettes and new grot colors in April. Natural color with a strong finish, 36 total Artex colors in five color palettes. In selecting our new colors, we were inspired by nature and the natural scenes of the North American landscape. We're hoping installers, homeowners, architects, and all end users will be similarly inspired and find shades that complement their next project. Highlighted are the new Artex colors that will be launched in April. The discontinued Artex colors are on the right. Artex will also have brand new grot kits as well as marketing material to launch our new grot palettes and colors. We'd like to thank you for your time today for learning a little bit more about the Artex grouts. And now we're ready for any questions you may have. <clears throat> Mark, so we have a couple of good questions here. Um, Micah asks, how soon can you cover the floor with cardboard or paper after grouting with FL? 
Really good question um, because as routes um, sure for and hydrate, they're going to evaporate moisture and you don't want to cover them too soon. So the Art XFL, because it's a rapid set, it can be covered uh, quicker than a standard setting grot like the FH. Um, I would at least give it, even though you can walk on it 90 minutes, I would still at least give it about three hours before you covered it with um, rosin paper or cardboard. Perfect. We have a question about mixing. What is slaking? Slaking is the time that some products need to sit after the initial mix to allow the polymers, the water, and the cement to activate together and become one. Um, Artex products are formulated differently with uh, highly advanced polymers and cements, and we use a high speed mixing paddle to do the original mix so we don't need you to wait that slaking time once you've finished your initial mix with a high speed paddle for approximately two minutes then you're ready to take either the towel mortar or the grout to the floor or wall perfect um Alan has a question. Can you elaborate? Uh, sorry, elaborate on um, how you would grout a ceiling with a grout that is so fluid. Yeah, like so, like the FL. Yep, like the FL. Absolutely. So the FL is a fluid grout, but again, it has a water ratio on on the bag, and we would always recommend absolutely for ceilings or walls you want to mix to the low water ratio. Um, I'm not going to say that you're not going to get any dripping because with most sanded grouts, they're not like unsanded grouts. Unsanded grouts are pasty and they kind of stay in a position, but sanded grouts tend to slide or fall off a ceiling, but it will not cause a lot of mess that you would think it would because it's that creamy, um, wet consistency. It will hang on a ceiling, no problem. You may get some drips, but you have to be careful because most sanded grouts are going to act like that when you're grouting a ceiling. Yeah, that's been my experience as well, Mark. Uh, we have a question about WA. Can it be used in commercial kitchens where enzymatic cleaners are commonly used? Yes, it can. So, um, Enzymatic cleaners themselves don't cause a problem to uh, epoxy grouts. It's a misconception. It's the combination of enzyma enzymatic cleaners and, believe it or not, chicken fat uh, from food particles that were left on the floor. When they break down that chicken fat, that chicken fat residue breaks down epoxies. So you have to be careful that the first the floor is cleaned well with a broom, and swept up, and then you use your enzymatic cleaners, and you'll have no problem with using the uh, enzymatic cleaners with the WA epoxy. Perfect. Thank you for that. Uh, is there an aggregate mixed into the hardener or resin of WA? Um, do you have an aggregate add in option? We don't. So there's sand already in the resin portion or the the larger jug of the WA, the, the bucket portion. Um, it's a fine spherical sand that is specifically used with um, our WA and some of our other Artex grouts. We do not recommend um, adding any other type of sand or aggregate to your mix. Um, again, epoxies especially because they are developed and portioned by weight, not by volume. So once you add something into that that changes the ratio volume to weight uh, consistency, you may end up having issues with the uh, the product itself. 
And I, I guess I would add to that that uh, WA is capable of going up to a half inch joint. So there typically isn't a need to add any aggregate to that. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Very good point. Yeah. So my friend Brad up in Alaska has a question about uh, is the installation of FH and FGC grout different than FL grout? Uh, referring to the timing of cleanup specifically. Yes, so um, the FH grout, um, you have a lot of working time. You could, I mean, you have up to like two hours um, because it's not rapid setting. Um, it, it does have a wet consistency, but not as wet as the FL. The FL has a wet consistency, but because it's rapid setting, you want to give it some time, but you always got to keep an eye on it because you don't want to wait too long. And then um, once, you, once you wait that 30 to 40 minutes, then you're ready to go. The FH, you, could, you can let it set longer than that. The FGT, being a non-sanded grout, you have options. You can wash it quick, you can, or you can let it stay on the, on the towel a little bit longer. Um, again, you always want to be careful not to, in any grout, not to grout too much of an area. You don't want to get too, too far ahead of yourself. You want to always be able to manage your area not to make your job more difficult than it has to be. So true. Um, while we're on the topic of FH, FGC, and FL grout, can you, dis can you describe the differences between the high performance or 118.7 grouts versus a standard cement grout? Yeah, so a 118.7 grout, according to Anthony, is, is a highly polymer grout. Um, a 118.6 um, has no polymers or very little polymers. And what that does mean is it, there are certain prior parameters of testing that they do, that they have to meet certain standards, uh, test numbers. And that either puts that product in a 118.6 or 118.7. And in most cases, highly polymered routes would be a 118.7 because they'll be uh, a little bit more flexible, um, more color consistent. Um, they may have uh, stronger um, finishes and things like that, more water repellency than a 118.6 grout. Perfect, thank you for that explanation. Uh, Micah has a question about when will dealers and distributors have these new colors available that you've discussed? Um, they should have our grout kits and selections available uh, April 1st, but please contact your local Artex sales professional. Um, they would be able to answer that question and be able to know exactly when and where to buy your Artex grouts. Perfect. We have a question about unique, you know, the uh, ability to have unique colors with some of the colors being discontinued, as you discussed, um, from Alexandria. Is there an opportunity to have unique colors? There's, um, there's always an opportunity, but the problem with any manufacturing business is you are producing a large amount in a batch. So if it was a large project, we would definitely be able to color match for a larger project. For smaller projects, it's just not feasible. We would have to create a pallet full of material. And unless you need at least a pallet, we could not do that. Yeah, and, and I, I guess I would add on to that, that uh, the new pallet is definitely in tune with the the current color trends and forecasting for you know future color trends i'm really excited about the new colors uh, and i would encourage everybody just to take a look at at those at the the new color palettes available from our products um, dan has a question about uh, mixing an application uh, he says grout instructions typically say slow speed drill um, if I remember correctly. So can you expand upon that? Yeah, so 
again, we we have a lot of polymers in our product. And if you think of a polymer as like almost like an M&M, &M, it has a hard shell on it. And the high speed drill is going to break those polymers up and it's going to uh, mix the polymers with the cement and water and other additives. And um, it's going to give the product um, its unique benefits. And that's also one of the reasons why we don't have to slake because we are using that high speed drill and uh, use the next T2 paddle, you will not put air into your mix when using the Arctic T2 paddle. So you don't have to worry about that high speed flow. And it breaks down those polymers and it gives us a nice, very fluffy, consistent grout. No need for slaking. Perfect. Uh, Scott has a question. Does Arctic have a single component urethane grout? Arctic does not have a single component grout at this time. Um, we are going to have a single component grout in the near future, so please stay tuned. There you go. Um, so again, Scott has a question about with the new colors coming out and there being discontinued colors, um, what if what if somebody has specified or there's a need for one of those discontinued colors? Is there some back stock that that people can have access to? Yeah, anytime that you discontinue a product, especially a grout color that may have been specified for a project that's maybe not going to take uh, you know, be ready for um, the building in a short period of time. Uh, before the grout has been discontinued, we are going to keep stock of all the colors that are discontinued for a certain period of time. Um, we will uh, ask that you contact your local Arctic sales rep if you have a project that you know of that's going to be using one of these discontinued grouts, so we can be sure to make sure that we we can meet your uh, project schedule. Perfect. I think that does it for our questions, Mark. Okay. Thanks, William. And again, thanks everybody for taking out uh, time of your day today to learn uh, a little bit more about Arctic Sprouts. And please come back in two weeks on April 13th for the Arctic Flexbone Uncoupling Mats and Flexbone Heat. Thank you very much. <laughs>